Welcome to Season 4 of CST Drift Round 3. So, going on this downhill here for the initiation, for qualifying you are allowed to cross this line here marked in the video, but for battles, do not cross that line. Then we have our initiation line, we want to see you angled out before crossing this line, set and ready to go in for that first inner clip that you will see right here. We want you back on throttle before the inner clip one, and no touching the red markings on the video. Here we want a full rumble fill out, going uphill. And then as we push up on the uphill here, we want a full rumble fill out here on outer zone one. A little diesel there, so chase drivers, watch out. And then we have our outer zone two. Nice fill out there coming around this uh, horseshoe. And then our inner clip two here, nice as close as possible as you can there, the track edge. Do not touch the grass. We want a midfield transition, so we want you in the middle of the track while going down here. Nice fill out here. Do not use the rumbles going downhill. You will get points deduct. And then last zone here, we want a, once again, nice fill out here. Do not touch the rumbles and then finish nice and wide. All right, guys, there it was. Here's the, uh, the picture of our line map i will uh, pull it up as well over here as we uh, take a look but uh those are the zones we have out here we got starting off with an inner clip one uh coming into a touch and go that you see on that second turn coming around into our outer zone one we have our uh, second off throttle decel zone there making its way about halfway to that outer zone two going across our second inner clip and then back over uh, those zones rumbles are allowed for the lead drivers uh going through uh, on the way into inner clip one and touch and go two. On the way back, they are not allowed. So let's keep those tires nice, nice neat and tidy. But uh, we got our initiation line and our finish line. They are different for each, but uh, we got a big run up here and uh, we got these guys in here. They're practicing already. Let's take a look and we'll get these guys lined up and start our round three here tonight in just a moment. All right, we got them lined up, ready to go. Daniel Camacho facing off against Jay, JW Performance for our first battle of the night here in round three at Road Atlanta. Let's go. Nice, solid initiation by Daniel Camacho. Jay coming right up there in the chase position, putting the pressure on right off the bat. Here we go, coming around that outer zone too with a nice fill out by Daniel Camacho. Going a little bit wide there, but cinching her in as we come around. Jay, keeping a great chase run here right off the bat. These guys got all the pressure on the track here tonight, being the first ones out there. And what a run by the two of them. Jay, W performance in the lead position. Daniel Camacho gonna be in our chase position. Drivers ready, let's send them. We got a little bit of a shaky first zone there, first inner clip there coming around. JW Performance putting on pretty much the same line there that Daniel Camacho was laying down. Daniel Camacho falling a little bit up behind in that chase position as we come across our two last inner zones and across the line they go. One going lead, one going OMT, and two going for the lead for Daniel Camacho. Moving on to our next round. Congratulations to him and very good runs by both drivers out there tonight. In the lead position, Zach Macy, Tyler Duck in the chase. These guys just battled it out. Probably have a good sense of each other's driving styles. Let's see it once more as they make their way down the track. Zach Macy throwing some huge angle coming across there. Tyler Duck making a little bit of an air there coming across. Not sure where to go as they push into that outer zone to cross that or that inner clip and into our touch and go once more. And across the line they go. You're going to get these guys aligned right back up though. We'll watch them head back to the line here as this is a OMT run for them. Tyler Duck in the lead position. Zach Macy now in the chase. We got lights. Let's send them. Worry about the shaky cam there too, guys. It is a very far zoom in for this shot. 
Nice. Huge initiation there by Tyler Duck. Zach Macy having to check up there a little bit. Keeping that proximity as they come around. Tyler Duck with a nice fill out on that outer zone too. Going very wide there, but cinched our in for that inner clip too. Back around for our touch and go. This guy's keeping it off the rumbles. Nice, neat, and clean. And Zach Macy, not to be forgotten there, putting that pressure on. All right, we're going to kick it on over to the judge screen here. Zach Macy on the left. Tyler Duck on the right. One, two, and three. Going Zach Macy. We had some straighten outs there by Tyler Duck in that chase position. Giving it over to Zach Macy. He's going to move on to that top 16. Michael V in the lead position. Anthony Norfolk in that chase. Let's see it. Let's go. Anthony Norfolk with the uh, controversial headlights for this round. But uh, got that all sorted out. Here we go, Michael V throwing down an absolute monster lead line here as Anthony Orfold puts the pressure on in that chase position. Throwing a little bit of bounce on the rear there as we come across back into those touch and goes. And the final inner clip. And across the line, Michael V putting down a solid lead run there. And Anthony Norfolk, not to be forgotten, putting that pressure on. We got lights. Here they go. Andy Norfolk in the lead position. Michael D in the chase. Huge initiation there by Anthony Norfolk. Michael D checking up and getting on that door. Coming across that ever so one, two. Anthony pushing it a little wide there. Throwing a little bit of dirt. Coming around for that touch and go. And into our final inner clip. And across the line they go. Uh, that is a full sweep for Michael V. We had Anthony Norfolk dropping multiple tires there. All right, we got him headed down. Togue SR. Nolan Stanley in the chase position there. Togue throwing some nice angle coming across there. And Nolan Stanley with the pressure right off the bat in that chase position as they come across those two outer zones. Togas are going very wide there on that outer zone. A little bit of nerve wracking there as we come across our touch and go inner clip and across the line for a solid run by these guys. And they're off. Here we go. Nolan Stanley in the lead position. Togasar in the chase. Oh, Togasar having a little bit of issues with coming across that initiation line, but he gets right back into the pocket here as we come across. Nolan Stanley in that lead position, keeping it nice, neat, and tidy around that outer zone two, inner clip two, and back in to our touch and go. Man, these guys throwing some speed down here on the track right now as Nolan Stanley holds lead line. One going Nolan, two pushing Nolan Stanley onto the top 16. Oh, let's see those lights. Let's send them. Throwing down some major speed on this straight. William Holloway throwing it nice and wide out there using those rumbles as we come across. Out or some Zach Macy putting some pressure on as we come across the tight section of that keyhole and keeping it into that pocket as we push through that touch and go inner clip and across the line. Solid run by both the lead and chase there. Zach Macy in the lead, William Holloway in the chase. Oh, let's see it. Huge initiation coming across here by Zach Macy. William Holloway getting into the pocket early. Maybe trading some paint there right off that initiation. Coming across our two outer zones. Zach Macy throwing some major angle around that inner clip too. And back around to do it again on that touch and go. Here we go. William Holloway and not letting off his door as we push across that line. All right. We got Zach Macy lining up in that lead position. Seth Miller in the chase. Seth Miller feeling pretty fresh out there, just running. Zach Macy, let's see it. These guys make their way down the street. 
getting right into that angle Seth Miller trying to get into the pocket here coming across those two inner zones into the outer zone one and two Seth Miller putting the pressure on Zach Macy as they whip around for that inner clip. Zach Macy throwing some nice angle into inner clip two. Coming around to that touch and go and our final inner clip on the track and across the line. We got Seth Miller now in the lead position. Zach Macy in the chase. Let's go. This is for the bronze third place podium finisher here. As they race down the street into it. Seth Miller throwing some angle coming across there. Zach Macy trying to get in the pocket and unfortunately had an issue with his transition there. Getting a little wild. As we come into that touch and go and onto the inner clip. As he has come across the line. It was determined that Zach Macy in that chase position was a independent straighten there and goes over to Seth Miller taking the bronze here tonight as we move on to our final battle. Gambit in the lead, Arizo in the chase. Oh, a huge initiation coming through there and Gambit just gives it too much. Oh, that is unfortunate to see. He gets back on the track to finish out that run. All we got to see is a solid lead run there for Horizo, and that should put it in the bag for him. After all, these drivers are human at the end of the day. We got Shaw now in the lead. Gambit in the chase. Let's go. Rizo throwing some huge. Oh, and Rizo just unfortunately under the pressure, throwing tires off there as these guys finish out that run. Holy! As they rip across the line. putting gambit for the gold and we had that uh contact on that initiation by garrett shaw from the chase there we go we got gambit rolling up to the line uh Rizzo, and they're off Get a little onboard audio here as these guys rip through the track gambit throwing a little wide there as these guys do well, one final lap on road atlanta you guys are watching csg drift season four round three appreciate you guys so much again this is csg drift you guys have a spectacular rest of your night and we will catch you guys in round four keep your eyes peeled on the discord for all details regarding that and uh i will also put up our you guys can see our dates for the next rounds here for csg drift starting in march 8th and 9th we'll have those announcements for rounds four five and six pushing through till april and we'll be concluding there for season four appreciate you guys so much yeah have a great night